All right, let's talk monthly favorites for June. I had quite a few items this time. No palettes. I don't remember if I had a favorite palette or not. Just because I rotate quite often through those. And I use like a different one every day I try. You know what I mean? So sometimes I remember and sometimes I do not. So, yeah. But I do have a bunch of face, face based products, lips, and all that good stuff. Oh, and I will have an eye, tut eye tutorial, whatever you want to call it, coming up on this look. Yeah. I'm getting inventive. I'm getting creative with my shadow. Okay, so into the favorites. Let's start. I don't have any favorite primers per se, but I do have three skin tints. Okay, I have three. One I'm currently wearing. So we'll start with the drugstore is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. Ooh, this is good. Mm. That was a favorite too. Good coverage, it is full. Let me say on here. It is full coverage. I don't have my glasses on, so it's a little hard to read and see. <laughs> uh, I wear, oh, I don't even have them in here. I wear glasses every day for all day seeing. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm losing vision here. So then we have the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. Oh, this is good. Worth the hype. Worth the hype. I'm shade one fair 150C in the Elf. And I'm also shade four. Number four in Fenty there. And I have the Tarte C Hydro Flex Serum Foundation 20. I'm um, shade 25 in light medium neutral. Oh my god. <laughs> This is fabulous. Obviously, it doesn't do so well once you start sweating and your glasses start rubbing because that's how much. But other than that, though, I'm not looking too bad after being in the heat for quite some time. And like, and then when I say heat, I mean it's like it's humid sweats. So bad. Other than that, though, this this it's been on ten over ten hours. Not bad if it's just that one spot on my nose. Not bad at all. And I have a setting powder. I have two setting powders, I think, this month. I don't remember. So the one I've been currently obsessing over is the Jaclyn Hill Translucent Setting Powder. I do have a, kind of like you would call a speed review on this. Oof, I've got a, I've got a dip going on this. So I'll probably have to repurchase this again this year. This is great. It does leave like, <laughs> does give your it does lighten your foundation like it gives off a white cast a little bit there but i usually i've been going i've been so i use the finishing powder right after i set my foundation with my setting powder and usually usually after i use my finishing powders it just kind of tones it back down so that helps me but yes love this and we'll repurchase a uh, bronzer i have kept this in my Oh, let's trap my stash here for two weeks now. Let's go this is week two. It's a Glowish by Huda Beauty, two medium. I could have gone with the shade three and would have been perfect. This isn't too bad, I just gotta build it up. This is beautiful. It's like a gorgeous, gorgeous color to your skin. I only have one concealer and it takes everything in for me not to put it back in my stash rotation because if you've been watching and watching my hauls, you know, I'm having a concealer overload over here. But, you know, I'm almost 30. I know, shocker. I don't look it at all, right? But, uh, the bags, they start, they start to be, be prominent. So, I've been, I've been concealing away here. And I've just, I've been loving putting on that concealer. I'm like, mm, you know. So, we had the Dior Forever Skin Correct here. Oh, I love this. Definitely will repurchase that once I get that empty. And it's 1CR. It's the shade. Then I have two mascaras. Both drugstore, by the way. We have the Rimmel Scandal Volume Flash Scandalous Mascara. Like, if you want something like a light touch, like a light touch of mascara, and that's it. This, this is your girl. But I think I might try this with the Tarte lash primer see how i like it with that but this is great i have to have a lash primer i love lash primers they're my holy grails of life so i love them when i try new ones so if you're wondering i'm not a falsy girl this though is good. and then the one i current 
No, I don't have this out right now. But I've used this for like two weeks straight. Was the, I believe I used it for two weeks straight. It's a Maybelline New York, the Colossal Classic Black Mascara. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is nice. It smells not bad, but it's got that scent to it. Now I got three, three lip products. I'm just like, <laughs> great. It's a lip liner, Jaclyn Hill. It's the oh, pout spoken. Yeah, pout spoken lip liner, it's shade toasty. Oh my god, I love this. It's in the, the nice dark brown. We'll throw a gloss over it. Oh, throw like a gorgeous light nude over it. Beautiful. Love it. I try to rotate between gloss lips, lip liner, cream lip, matte lip. You know, I'm trying to rotate between those metallic so my lips don't get irritated and dry. So. And then I have a matte. It's a lip pencil. It's from Sugar. It's matte as heck. And it's in the shade 28 Honey Rider. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is one of my go-to lip pencils. I love this. And it be staying on all day. And a new, a new one I am loving. And I'm going to pick up more shades too. It's the Essence. It's their semi-matte lipstick. And it's in the shade 14 Free. Ooh, girl. This is great. That's sad. I guess I can go ahead and swatch the other two lip products. This is that sugar one. And then the lip pencil. Love it. Oh yeah, this is zombie kiss by the way if you're wondering JC. I know he just bought 24 shades back, but he should have brought this back. Crowd favorite, crowd winner. This should have been back. Maybe I'm the crowd. I'm the whole crowd for one lipstick here. Bring back zombie kiss. It's the perfect metallic purple. Perfect metallic purple. Alright. I didn't really have too many duds this uh, month. Not that I remember. But I also, if I have a dead, I do give it away like maybe the day or two after. So there's that. Um, yeah, these are my favorites. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.